And if you compare what happens to a, a woman in an abortion clinic, as opposed to if you go to your doctor and you suddenly you're told you have to have ambulatory, you know, in and out surgery, it doesn't match up. And when I say this to talk to people, they just go, what? I said, okay, from the testimonies of the women of Silent No More, I'm going to give you a comparison here, okay? If, you, let's say I need, I tore the meniscus in my knee and I go to see my uh, doctor. Well, he's going to see me. He's going to do a bunch of tests and, and, you know, MRIs and everything and say, okay, you, we have to do an operation. He'll probably schedule it a few weeks from now. The week of the surgery, I have to go to the hospital and get pre-admission testing, right? Blood, urine, chest x-rays, meet with, meet with an anesthesiologist. And, of course, the doctor will explain the whole procedure to me, exactly what's going to happen. Does any of that happen in abortion? Zero. Zero. And also, too, when you go to a doctor, especially first-time visit, what do you get? A clipboard with about six pages uh, of stuff to fill out, medical history. Does any of that happen in abortion? I mean, if they want to talk about this is reproductive health care, they're lying. They're lying. Because how come when a woman walks into an abortion clinic, the first question is Medicaid, cash, or credit card? Mm. Question one. And so they want to know how they're getting paid. And then they're taken into a room. And this is from the testimonies of the women. I'm not making this up. You can go to abortiontestimony.com and read all about it. They're told to undress and put on a gown. If they're lucky, someone comes in with a little pill to calm them. And a lot of these abortion clinics, they don't even get that. And guess when they meet the doctor? When they're on the table and they're fetal in the stirrups and he's about to perform that abortion. You tell me, what surgical procedure does anyone have where you don't know the name of the doctor and you don't see him till you're in the operating room? None. Mm -hmm. And then when the, when the abortion is over, he quickly leaves the room. The woman is taken to a place like a like a lounge chair to recover. And within an hour, she's told to get dressed and leave. No follow-up appointment. Uh, no one tell, talking to her about how the operation went. Uh, no follow-up appointment and no nothing for pain or even antibiotics. It's, mm -hmm. it's nonsense. This is not medicine. They're selling mm -hmm. an abortion and it's despicable. And I know Steve and AUL, they have worked very hard with, in some states, trying to pass laws to monitor the abortion industry. And and why? Why is this the most unregulated industry out there? They don't mm -hmm. get inspected. They don't get regulated. I mean, it's really terrible. And so it's not a medical procedure. And as soon as you challenge their rhetoric about this, they, they have nothing to say. But for the average American, when you point these things out to them, they say, I had no idea. I had no idea. And the other thing in, in radical states like California, you don't even have to be a doctor to perform an abortion. A doula now can perform an abortion. A doula. All right? So mm -hmm. think about that. This is mm -hmm. a very invasive procedure going inside a woman. And a doula can now do it. It mm -hmm. is insane. And why mm -hmm. after, after an abortion do so many women have physical complications? And why after abortion do so many women, when they want to have their family, end up with multiple miscarriages? Because of the damage physically done to them during that abortion, like a compromised cervix and so on. I mean, I could go on forever about the damage. And it, and it happens every day. And with more invasive abortion procedures like second trimester, they risk perforated uteruses. I mean, I, one time I was in an ER with a family member and in the next curtain next to me was a woman who came in from the nearby abortion clinic mm -hmm. all right and she was bleeding and hemorrhaging and they were mm -hmm. taking her up for tests and she had to sign papers and they said to, i could hear them right in the next room talking you know between the curtain talking to her and said well unfortunately uh they might have you know perforated your 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 bowel and if so we might have to do a colostomy and she had to mm -hmm. sign oh. permission Sign permission for what, whatever you have to do, you have to do kind of thing. And off she, they, off they took her away. And I mean, that's just one of countless things. I can point to testimonies. About the only baby these women were ever conceived was the child they aborted from physical damage. And I could also introduce you to women that the last step they took on this planet was that step onto that abortionist table because they were killed during that abortion procedure. Sure. So, it's yeah. not medicine. And that's what we have to challenge them on. It doesn't right. follow any guideline to any medical procedure out there.